folks, Captain Mike here from Salty Cape. Today I'm with my good friend, Captain Dave Peros. We're slipping out to middle ground for a little quick before work hit to see if we can't find some fish at middle ground. And then unfortunately we're gonna slip back to the office, which is far less fun than well, fishing. Mike, I'm gonna slide down to the next spot down there. There's a couple of gannets or whatever working still down there. All right, hold on. Fishing the rips at middle ground. So what we're doing is keeping the boat perpendicular to the rip. And I'm casting perpendicular to the boat, but the bait's landing parallel to the rip. And so what I'm doing is letting that bait swing into the rip. I like a horizontal presentation for this. Because what's happening, if you can picture a bait fish swimming down the sound, they're getting set into the rip. And uh, so the natural presentation for the bait is a horizontal one going into the rip. And uh, so you'll find uh, if you cast straight back into the rip, you'll get lots of little hits. Um, so a lot of times I've noticed over the years anglers or, you know, focused on casting straight back into the rip. And that's, it's logical to some degree because that's where your hits come from, but your hookups come from casting perpendicular to the boat, parallel to the rip, and just twitching it as the bait slides into the crest of the, the rip. Here we go, got that one. <laughs> Yeah, it's funny, sometimes those fish want a real fast retrieve. Uh, that one was um, you know, one or two clicks above a dead drift just swinging down the tide. And uh, they were grabbing it from the tail before. <clears throat> that tells me these fish are, have been feeding, so there's some sort of bait here, it's springtime. For today's video fishing report, I'm here at Middle Ground to report that the uh, that the stripers are right on time and are lined up the rip. Must be eating squid because this 10-inch pink hoagie original has been getting lots of love. So to rig these soft baits weedless is actually very easy. You'll see the screw keeper on the front and then a longer uh, jig style hook um, but step one is you hold the keeper firmly and you just screw the keeper in um, it's actually you know when you're tied to the line here it's easier to screw the soft bait onto the keeper then you just take a minute to line the hook up you want it to sit you know in a nice and natural fashion in the soft bait For example if I go too far back it's gonna buckle if I go too far front it's gonna be pulling tight and unnatural. So just lining up with a nice even fit. Let's see what I want to exit around here somewhere. I'll mark it with my finger. Now you'll notice the Hoagie Originals have this rigging slot and that's gonna, with this hook, it's gonna make it a little easier to rig A, but B, provide less friction for this hook to slide through to penetrate in the fish's mouth. So this hook slot really helps for, just an aside, really helps for hookups. So I'm pushing that hook. I feel it on the tip of my finger. I'm, I think anyway that I'm on the center of the, the bait. I'm gonna come out right in the back. And so now, it's even. The hook's coming out the back. Earlier I mentioned this is a weedless rig. What you can do is just pull the bait back and just bury the hook on itself. That hook won't pick up any weed. 